what's going on guys in this video we're going to take a look at yet another record possibly being set in 2020 a couple of days ago i put up a video about the stage being set for possibly something exceptional and what i was referring to was the hurricane superhighway it is running hot and there's already a storm over here in the east pacific that is very very early could be a historic storm at least with regard to forming in April. That is very, very rare. It's not named just yet. Here it is at the National Hurricane Center, their first one of the year over here in the East Pacific. And when I was talking about that superhighway running hot, you can see where this storm's at right here. If we switch formats and we go to the true color, you can see the storm sitting right there and it's starting to get a very familiar look to it that could be a named storm see it's in very very warm water but the thing is the farther it moves north you can see the waters get cooler very very quickly that's why you don't see hurricanes and cyclones off the coast of california right there that cool water keeps them protected from these types of storms over in the Atlantic Basin it's just the opposite very very warm waters along the coast of the Atlantic at least up into the Carolinas and then it starts to cool off along the coast of New York and then up into coastal Canada but down here you can see it's exceptionally warm some of this water is the warmest on earth and you've got a potentially record storm sitting right here at least with regard to timing hurricane season in the East Pacific over here the season starts in June 1st over here it starts a little earlier a couple of weeks earlier May 15th but we are like I said about three weeks early for a hurricane or a tropical storm there it is on windy.com you can see the the most recent satellite image I've got one from yesterday that I took as it was forming and there were some anomalies in the Pacific Ocean I want to share with you guys don't know what they mean if anything but there's the storm right there look for it to be named today again could be a uh, historic storm here's what I recorded yesterday April 24th as this thing was forming and you're going to see look some anomalies in the lower clouds here looks like wind or something some sort of weird outflow from that storm and then look at this gigantic outflow coming off of coastal California Look at that absolutely massive outflow. Let me go back to that one more time. Look right up here off the coast of California. Watch that. Look at that big old slug of air. Unreal. I mean, I think that would be like a, a Santa Ana type of wind maybe. Don't know. Never really seen anything like that on the, the radar. A lot of unique things. But anyway, uh, or on the satellite. But you can see this outflow coming from the storm that's rotating counterclockwise like they do in the northern hemisphere. Storms in the southern hemisphere on the lower half of the superhighway run clockwise. Northern hemisphere, counterclockwise. That's a counterclockwise storm. And you're looking at potentially a record storm. If that gets named or becomes a, a tropical cyclone, that will be a record. Here is a screen grab from Wikipedia of the East Pacific hurricane season. It says right here, starts May 15th. So is this a sign of things to come? I would say so. I'm not surprised because like we had mentioned earlier and we talked about it in an earlier video, the superhighway is running hot and that's the stage where these hurricanes and cyclones perform and they've got a big stage to perform on this year and I think we're going to see some early performances. So we could see our first named storm in the Northern Hemisphere in April. According to the National Hurricane Center, 80% chance here is what they're saying. 80% chance of this being named today. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that because that would definitely be a historic moment. Now I've got a couple of quick little videos I want to share with you guys. I took this one myself a couple of nights ago looking up in the western sky about 815. That is Venus. I looked up, of course I'm out quite a bit, but I just couldn't get over how large it looked right after dark. That's the neighbor's house line right there. And Venus looked like a huge planet in the sky. And it's because of the proximity of Venus to Earth. 
It's very close to Earth right now. We share the same side of the sun. So Venus is going to look large and bright in the western sky and it will slowly go down towards the western horizon throughout the, the night. So that's Venus in the western sky at about 8.15 from right out here in Arizona. Also got a video sent in by Matt out of Michigan. Yet another jumbo halo, but this one had a unique twist to it. See, it's got the horizontal rainbow that went all around the sky. He was totally stunned as he had never seen anything like that before in Michigan. And I have to agree. I get videos and pictures every day from all around the world. And generally, these types of things in the sky I don't see below 50, 55 degree latitude. This is something that, that you would see up in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, up in that area. Uh, they're pretty common up there. Not super common, but they do happen. I don't normally see these out of the out of the U.S. I just don't. And that's one of those rare occurrences that it did occur, and Matt just happened to be there to capture it. Great video, Matt. Thanks for sharing. I, I greatly appreciate it. You guys are wide awake and on the ball. And if you guys are new to the YouTube channel, make sure you go over and subscribe. Click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you're a current subscriber, double check. Make sure they're both still activated. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.